Hi there! Did you know that there's lots of things we can do in addition to looking at books that help our kids get ready to be strong readers? At Words Alive, we aim for the big five. Talk, read, sing, write, and play. These five anchor behaviors or activities are things we can do with the young people in our lives to nurture their natural curiosity and get them ready with the experiences they can use to become strong, independent readers when it's time for them to learn how to read. Play is at the top of that list because it's the most powerful. Children learn best when they do, and they learn best when they get to use all their senses to understand the world around them. Play is very powerful because it's the natural mode that children learn through. It's their work, you might think. It's the way that they use the information around them in the world to better understand that world. Play is the most powerful because it's also the natural way to keep kids excited about a new thing they might try or excited to return to something they've tried before. Talk is also super important because when we talk, especially if we have a conversation that goes back and forth, it's the perfect way to practice those new words we hear in the world around us and use them to communicate the things that we need or the things that we want. Kids need practice with the new words that they've heard and conversation and talking is a wonderful way to honor that. Reading, of course, is a wonderful way to help kids explore their world and to prepare for learning to read later in life. Part of why it's so powerful is because we don't have to teach our kids how to read right now, but looking at books with them is a wonderful way for them to see how books work and the way storytelling works. Also, there's things we can see, places we can visit, and new things we can understand on the pages of a book that might be outside the experiences we've had in the real world. In that way, we might think about books as a window to the world, and every page is a chance to experience something new. Singing is one you might not connect to learning to read or the skill sets we use to become an independent reader, but there's lots of research out there that shows any activity that helps us build rhythm or practice hearing patterns and movements and sounds are things that our brain can use later to make sense of language when we hear it or when we see it written down on a page. Singing is a wonderful way we train our ears for the patterns and the way our spoken language sounds. Also, writing is a really great way to help our kids know what writing and reading is for. When they see the big people around them reading and writing, they see that reading has a purpose in our lives and that writing carries meaning. It's something we use to communicate in a way that's different from the way that we talk. When kids are small, drawing has the same effect as writing. As we grow, we might practice writing our name. But when we're little, anything we can hold in our hands will help get those little tiny muscles ready for the day when we'll hold a pencil or crayon to write our name. Think of drawing or using your hands when you're small as little tiny like finger push-ups for getting your hands ready for the mechanics of drawing later. The big five are talk, read, sing, write, and play. And each of them has a powerful part to play in the brain of your little person. Have fun!